As everybody knows, the inside of the trailer wheels are the most important. Without bearings, they're not going to roll. This high temperature, extreme pressure um, bearing grease, the MX-8, is probably the best stuff you're ever going to put into your bearings. I put an application in about a year ago. I'm about to re-change re it all out, flush it all out, and put the new application in there. But it still doesn't need it. It still hasn't broke down. Um, the, the, the high temperature, especially here in Florida, driving down the roads, those roads get 110, 120 degrees. This stuff will not break down and turn to mush like all the other ones do and lets the salt water penetrate them and stuff. Um, absolutely a must for anybody that's doing boat trailers. My uh, wheel bearings started making some noises and uh, grinding and uh, I took the, the hubs off and removed the bearings and there hadn't been any damage done yet, but I packed the uh, bearings with the Inox products and everything has been perfect ever since. Yeah, for my trailer bearings, I, I have been using another product uh, that had been recommended to me by, by my mechanic. Um, went away from that product and went to the MX-8 after I had a bearing fail after just a few months. And I'm not towing a heavy boat. My boat's, you know, a very lightweight, uh, flats boat designed for shallow water fishing, so it kind of surprised me. But when I lost that bearing, it was just completely corroded. The whole race and everything was corroded apart. Since I've gone to the MX-8, I've had zero problems. Um, I do it about once a year, repack my bearings, just see how they're doing. They look, after a year, they look just as good as they did when I put them on. We deal with primarily salt or brackish water, and it's exceptionally corrosive. Sometimes a mixture of the tannic acids, the salt, all the stuff from the brackish water, it corrodes badly. Uh, I blow through hubs, you know, at least two a year on my trailers, and I'm hoping that that's going to be the cure. So far, since I've used that, no blown hubs, but it's still early, but we're going to find out.